Hey guys, what's this button do? Whoa, <laughs> that's cool. I didn't know I could do that. How does that feature work? Anyways, I've had some people ask me questions through my private messages. They want to, um, they want me to do more live streams and they want me to do some more vlogs. And so I'm working on that. Anyways, guys, I'm just here at my place, my Baha'i. Um, I'm just watching YouTube videos. <laughs> hi, Stella. Hi, Adriana. Hi, Karen. It's good to meet you guys. So um, if you guys have any questions for me, um, feel free. Uh, if you want to ask them in Tagalog, that's OK. Um, I can read Tagalog. Um, hi, Rogelin. Um, uh, shout out, Adriana. And shout out to Karen. It's good to see you guys. Good to see you guys. How is everybody doing? What are y'all doing today? My hair is getting long. Can you guys see? Can you tell? Check this out. Look at that. Isn't that insane? Do you guys think I should get a haircut? Or do you think that I should just keep growing it? Hi, Jim. Hi, um, Bebang, Bebang. <laughs> Did I do that right, Atekan? Did I say that right? Um, I derf. Uh, okay lang ako dito. Um, I'm tamad lang. Yun lang. Kayo. Ha, kumusta? Kumusta naman? Sorry, I'm trying to scroll up. LJ, can you visit Cagayan de Oro and please look for me? <laughs> That's a ways away, isn't it? I'm in M Makate right now. Let's see. Yeah, that's in Mindanao. Visaya. That's Visayan territory. Okay, Jim's like, remember me? He, he, he. Maybe. What else? Adriana wants to be invited. Should we invite her, guys? You want to be part of this? I'll do it. Why not? I'm trying to figure it out. Okay, here we go. I hope this isn't a bad idea. Josh, do you like bread? Tyro, do you like bread? <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna answer that, guys. It says that there's only six people on my live, but I'm pretty sure that there's there's a, a couple more people than that. But if there is only six people, that's a good thing. What's up, Robin? Hi. Princess and Irvin. Uh, Tyrone, great questions. Great questions. Thought thought provoking, for sure. Let's see. Um, most of the people lived in Cagayan de Oro is beautiful like me. Joke. <laughs> I bet. From what I can tell, like. Um, Mindanao, like, people from Mindanao are beautiful, absolutely beautiful people. Um, the whole island is just beautiful people. It's amazing. Um, Gerard, when will you be guesting again? 
Um... Soon. I know that I'm doing some stuff um, next Saturday uh, with my sponsor, Erase. And then I've got some stuff lined up next week, month. I'm doing a commercial in the, this week or next week as well. It's not guesting, but it is work. That's always important. Favorite Filipino food, asks Pao. Tamo bayon, Pao. Um, probably Beagle Express. I've said this before. Um, I really like Beagle Express. Uh, because it's maanghang and the pork is really really delicious tapos yung parang yung halong halong lasang lasang halo halo di ba kasi my um, coconut milk tapos my what else uh, you got your chilies it's really good really good Sean I'm not answering that Sean I'm just kidding dude are you guys all at, at the place um, I feel good about beef falafels. <laughs> I don't even know. Dude, uh, Josh, Cebu is gonna be lit. Dude, yeah it is. I'm so stoked for that. Honestly. I can't wait. Uh, loot. Lay, where do you get your coffee? I... <laughs> this is impossible. Um, I do, I get my coffee from Gamboa Coffee. It's the best coffee in the world. Um, Sheila, LDSK? No. Jim, nosebleed. Sorry, uh, English ero kasi ako. Uh, Raymond, hi there, Mr. Greg, flu in Tagalog kanai. Um, yeah, I guess, like, I still have an accent, and I feel more comfortable speaking in English, of course. Pow, coffee or milk? Coffee. Always coffee. Hi, Christine. What's up? Do, 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 do. Are we allowed to play music over Facebook Live? Does anybody know? Or will I get, like, copyright striked and banned and stuff? Because I've heard of things like that happening. Okay. I graduated um, with a degree in political science um, from an American university. Two, um, I used to write for magazines nationwide back in the US. Um, three, I used to work in politics. And four, I used to be in a jazz band and we toured all over the world from Mexico to Italy and Switzerland and beyond and then five I'm an Eagle Scout there you go there's five things right there yeah Lay what's the request what's the request girl yeah 30 Vin de la Vega from Paranaque sorry that was super American 30 Vin de la Vega da Paranaque Handstand. Handstand. Freaking Tyrone, dude. I hope that you watch this the whole way through. It's actually a very, very good way to get um, followers. People really like to watch the lives after, even after they're done. John asks, do you play Dota 2? L-O-L-S. Lols. Um, I don't play Dota, but I play Mobile Legends, and I like it. 
I like Mobile Legends. I'm using my computer, my computer light as a, as a lightning mechanism for my face. Is there any other questions? Is that it? Are we done? That's at the bottom already. Everybody's finished talking. Oh, no, we're going. Ravelin Villarubia Tuason. A shout out. Guys, are these your real names? Because these names are very complicated. There's a lot of letters in your names. Where are you staying here, 30 bin? Dito sa Pilipinas. Kasi nandito ako ngayon sa Makati area. Um, pero I think pupunta ako dun sa... It'll have to be next year. Um, Regine says, hello. What's up? Hey, Harold. It's good to see you, bro. Are you guys all hanging out right now? And I'm just alone, live streaming. Um, who are your, some of your influences and inspiration in music? Sabi. John. John. Um... Marami akong influences um, sa musica. Siguro, in, depende sa genre. So, in jazz, for example, um, I really, really like uh, big band style music. I like um, uh, Gordon Goodwin, for example. Um, if you're talking about, like, personal pop style, I really think that Owl City is pretty decent and if you're looking into something more like alternative rock bandy I've always been a major major fan of the Hush sound um, they've got a couple newer songs that I'm not a huge a fan of but generally I've, I've really liked their their sound for a very long time Andy Grammer is a good classic American songbook artist um, who else do we got from a different genres? I've always liked Hone. They do some, they're a London group. They do some, I don't, I don't want to call it jazz, but it's kind of like lounge music. It's it's really good. Um, when it comes to like anything more like harder, metalcore, like Killswitch Engage is always a good choice, or As I Lay Dying, All That Remains. Um, when it comes to... Yeah, I mean, like, if you're looking for symphonic influences, there's a lot of different, like, composers that I would recommend. Um, but it, you know, we can talk about that if that's, if you're really looking for, like, influences. I mean, I guess everybody is influenced by Bach and Mozart at some point, right? Because, you know, like, the Bach chorales really put together the structure of modern music as we know it and the way we melodize and harmonize everything is based off of you know that structure I don't know I used to be a music major I took like three classes of music theory but I was always really bad um let's see Josh asks <laughs> Josh 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 asks do you know about the horsemen from America no I don't um, Jay, I know you're mixed. What specific ethnicities? That's a great question. Um, actually, let me pull up my 23andMe report. And since I'm right here, why not? I can give you the exact breakdown of my ethnicities. Because, I mean, if you want to basically get down to it, I'm half white and I'm half Asian. But... I think it's funner if I go through the whole thing. So, I've almost signed in here, guys. And then we'll, oh, I'll show you. Okay. 
Oh, look. There's a new report for G6PD deficiency. Anyways, I did the full report with the ancestry and the health. I'm not sure if this is available yet here in the Philippines. Josh, false. <laughs> Every day. Okay. Um, let's turn this around. Okay. So, this is what we're looking at here. I'm 22%, I'm 51% European and 48% Asian. So, I have Korean blood. I have 11% Japanese blood. And then I'm broadly East Asian 11%, which I know is Korean because my dad is Korean. And then, which means I have one Korean, I mean, I have one Japanese great-grandparent, and the rest of them are Korean on my dad's side. And on my mom's side, they're British and Irish from the UK, mostly. And I also know that there's some Scandinavian and French and German as well. Um, and that's, that's categorized under the broadly Northwestern European. So you're, but in the 1850s, my ancestors tra um, traveled over here to the, from Europe to America. And then they went over in the Mormon pioneer train to Utah. And so most of my ancestors are from like Ireland and Britain on my mom's side. So yeah, basically half British and half Korean by ethnicity. Pretty sweet. Anyways, I also did the ancestry test and it's given me slightly different results so I've been able to fine tune what I do. Okay. Anthony says, are you single? I mean, officially, yes, I am single. Josh, are there horsemen in the Philippines? <laughs> indeed, there, indeed there are. And they are F-A-L-S-E. I know at least uh, four. Well, it depends. I know three for sure. The fourth one, you know, it's hit and miss. Daryl says, Greg, how are you? I am excellent. Well, hello to Canada. Um, awesome. Armin says, do you speak Korean language? Um, not really. I can understand a little bit, and I know a little bit, but, um, I know, mas magaling ako na magtagalog kaysa magkoreano. Anthony says, who's your management? Well, it's kind of difficult. Uh, I don't know. Like, I'm managed by Viva, um, Viva Artists Agency, but I'm also co-managed by Lito de Guzman. And for a lot of my shows, like my Banks Fashion show that I did, I was under Mercator. So, but, you know, Viva. I'm a Viva artist. Um, yeah, Anthony, if you want to get in touch with me, just send me a private message, for sure. And I'll, I'll help you out, make sure that we get everything where it needs to be. Okay. Gerard asks, are you from Utah? I am from Utah. Um, I was born Salt Lake City, Utah, and then I uh, moved to Kearns, Utah. Well, I, I grew up in Kearns until I was like seven uh, years old, and then I moved to, to Riverton, Utah. And then when I got a little bit older, after I came back from the Philippines, I moved to Murray, Utah, and then I moved back to Riverton for a while. Yeah, I know, it's a lot. Oh, oh, pao, nagadeshino ko sa PBB. Last month, pa. Brendan asks, how many licks to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? That's a great question. Finally, we're getting good questions. Good thing I have Google. I've never tried it, actually. 364 Dow. A group of engineering... Look at this, guys. A group of engineering students from Purdue University reported that its licking machine 
They got a licking machine. I wondered what they were using that for. <laughs> Modeled after a human tongue. <laughs> Took an average of 364 licks. 364 to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. 20 of the group's volunteers averaged 252 licks. So they were, they were licking away. They were licking away. We're looking at 250 to 350 licks to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. Rose asks, what is your plan as of now? I'm currently trying to break into show business. I'm modeling right now. Um, that's, that's my plan. That's my plan as of now. Hi, where are you from? From the U.S. of A, Ashlia. Josh, what's BGC like? I've never been there. Hope one day we can have a jolly old time, Greg. Yeah, man. Oh, man. Pow. Ilan tats mokuya. Um, dalawa. My dalawa akong tats. Um, you're amazing, Jay. Ksha, Pam Kshua asks, um, Sino ang aking Filipino na celebrity crush? Ooh, um, I've said Erich Gonzalez in the past, um, but right now, man, hmm. Hmm. That's a good question. That's a really good question. Hmm. You know what? I'll get back to you on that one because. Huh. I don't know. John says if you're into mojitos, there's a hella good mojito in BGC. Brick and Mortar is the name of the store. For sure, dude. Actually, that's great. Thank you for thank you for uh, the recommendation. Kuya Greg, can you speak a straight Tagalog sentence? Um, sige. I um I don't know what to say. Ako po si Greg, taga America ako at mabuti na nakakilala tayo. Kasi um gusto po naming Gusto ko pong makilala sa, sa inyong lahat um, para baka makasama tayo sa kinabukasan <laughs> sa kahit saan para gimikin tayo. That was bad. But it was straight. Whatever. I didn't know what I was saying. Ako si Greg at gusto kong magbahagi ng isang mensahe ko tungkol kay <laughs> tungkol kay the false horseman tungkol kay na false horseman um let's see ABS CBN or GMA I like GMA news I like GMA staff they're very friendly and very parang parang pamilya talaga doon sa GMA doon sa ABS CBN um, mababai maba sila doon sa ABS-CBN pero malaki yung company um, ibig sabihin marami silang talents maraming ganun at you don't always get a lot of attention not their fault it's a huge company um, Jay says if you'd be given a break in show business what movie genre would you like to work on I would like to you know this is weird I kind of want to do a horror film um, I, I don't know, maybe a rom-com too, but really, I want to do a horror film. Hi, Greshel. Thank you for watching. Everybody, you wonderful people. My wonderful, wonderful friends and, uh, family, maybe. Maybe there's some family here. So, yeah, but, yeah, I'm with, uh... With Viva, if you have any questions about how show business, if you have any questions about how modeling works, I have. 
that's what I'm doing right now anyways. If you have any questions about my past or like my life before I came to the Philippines, um, I'd be happy to answer those as well. I've been watching a lot of these videos online, you know, about uh, body language videos. So, like, it shows like people speaking tapos. Uh, it's at they're analyzing yung know, body language nila. It's very interesting. It's very very interesting. It's like you can tell who's sociopathic and whatnot. Pero hindi pa ako magaling. I'm just starting. I'm just watching the videos really. Do, 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 do. We've got a lot of people watching. Over a dozen. <laughs> That's pretty good. You too, Iderf. Take care. Thanks for tuning in. I'm probably going to keep this going for maybe five more minutes. How long have we been doing this now? I don't know, it's hard to say. You want to know what I want to learn? I want to learn Sabuano, but I don't know how to, how, how to do that. Josh, dude. Sup, Marco? Joseph, good to see you, my friend. Whiskey or beer? Hmm. Beer. I much prefer beer. Um, Pow asks, Saan mo gusto maging artist, ABS or GMA? Um, you know, alam mo, kahit saan, basta may pera. I, um, wala akong allegiance or lealtad sa, sa kapamilya or kapuso. Kasi hindi ako kapamilya, tsaka hindi ako kapuso, viva artist ako. So, if I had the choice, I would choose the one who wanted me. Why don't Visayans like to speak Tagalog? I want to know that. Dude. I am not a Tagal Tagalogero. <laughs> Nakaka nosebleed lang talagang Tagalog. Dude, Marco, tell me when. I'm Kaliwete though. I'm left handed, so um, I hope that there's a place na I can rent uh, left handed clubs because I need them. And I didn't bring my golf shoes, but I, I don't know. I don't know if it'll matter as much. Or my glove. I'm going to have to outfit my whole thing. I need new shoes. I need a new glove. I need to rent clubs. I should just have my bag shipped from the U.S., honestly. Harold, you are one of the most awesome people in the universe. And I love you. You're the greatest. Mark asks, on, um, what was your work before I came here? So, my work before I came to model and act here in the Philippines. I was working in a business um, called uh, Spring Mobile, which was a wholly owned subsidiary of a publicly owned company called GameStop. And I was working in their technical support center and not doing like, I wasn't doing like calls or customer support, but I was recruiting 
I was a recruiting coordinator and that was fun um, it was a good job it paid well I had a lot of fun and I you know I had a lot of really good friends and connections there um, and so yeah nothing really bad to say about my job before I came here before that I was working as a financial aid administrator um, for a for-profit college called Broadview University located in West Jordan Utah and I've, I of course I was like doing like music and stuff but let's see thank you Joanne thank you so much thank you Nier <laughs> I'm not that handsome. I'm I'm trying to get more handsome, but I don't know how. I'm trying to look smacks, but I don't know how to do it. What's up, Daniel? I can see. Whenever people are watching, I can see it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Angry faces. <laughs> I don't know why. Mark, it's just like sales? No, I never did anything related to sales. Um, recruiting was people would apply for a position at any one of the hundreds of AT&T locations owned by Spring Mobile across the United States, broken up into regions. So for a while I had like the South region, for like a while longer I had the West region. And those regions are uh, you know, they have a lot of applications coming in. It's my job to review the applications and make sure the candidates go in the the places that they need to go. They meet with the people they need to meet with. And um, it was my job to interview them sometimes. It was my job to onboard them sometimes. You know, just people who wanted to work for us, it was my job to make sure that they were qualified. My course in university was political science. I got a Bachelor of Arts in political science. And believe it or not, you have to have either language courses or you have to speak another language in order to get the Bachelor of Arts degree. Um, I chose Tagalog and I actually tested, uh, tested out of it. So my Tagalog is actually much better than you'd imagine. I, I usually don't speak it though. <laughs> I should speak it way more. Um, but I can understand pretty much everything. I can read it fine too. Um, so yeah. Josh says, "Have you ever met anyone from Chicago or Alaska?" I mean, frankly, yeah. Everybody from Alaska I've met is really cool. But Chicago, you know, it's a mixed bag. Barack Obama was from Chicago, so there's that. In the air, hoo hoo, notice me please. I like your eyebrows. <laughs> what? My eyebrows? I don't do any work on my eyebrows. I should. You know what I'm most insecure about, guys? I'm most insecure about my chin. It's a short chin. I wish it was longer. Mitzi Biamonte asks, why not auditioned as hashtags boys in Showtime? Do you dance? Um, okay, I, I don't quite understand the first question, but the second question, do I dance? Um, I do. Technically, I mean... I know how to dance ballroom. I was on the ballroom. I did ballroom in high school and stuff. And then I was also on color guard, so I know a little bit of modern dance technique. Um, so if you want to do like a salsa or a cha-cha or a waltz, a foxtrot, a merengue, a swing, a samba, a, you know, a bolero, I could help. I, I, know what, I know how to do all those. But when it comes to like hip hop or break dancing, I'm not very good at all. Um, if we're talking about just like dancing in the club, you know, like, yeah, I like to dance in the club. Stuff like that. Let's keep this going for like one more minute, fam. This has been fun. I'm glad you guys have been joining me. 
I'm considering ordering food. What should I order? order? Wait, what how how would you say that correctly? Ano ano kopong dapa i order, ini order, o order. It's hard. Um, Nikki Nikki Mendoza, shout out, shout out to you, Nikki. Thanks for joining my live stream. Oh, I miss Utah too. I was actually thinking about Utah a couple days ago. Um, one of my best friends still lives there. His name is Pablo, and um, I miss him dearly. I have another really close friend, Rex, who's still out in Utah. Um, he was a missionary then before. Tapos marunong ding siyang magtagalog. But good news, babalik siya si Rex. Next week, or this weekend, pala, babalik siya rito this weekend. Um, and I'm so stoked, guys. It'll be so cool to see him again. It's been months. It's been like seven, eight months now. Mga eight months na. Hindi kami nakakita. Pablo, what's up, bro? It's like eight in the morning out there. I was just talking about you, actually. Maybe you saw that part. Thank you, Koi. Could you also say Anoang Dapa Kong I order? Or would that sound weird? I miss your lives? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the, this. I was like, what? This. Oh, man. I'm getting tired. Harold, I love that you're giving me so much love right now, man. Dude, Harold, for all of you who don't know, Harold Ocampo is the man. He's like the coolest guy in the world. And I respect the guy so much, and I look up to that guy so much. You should uh, definitely follow his social media. He's so cool. Yek is watching. What's up, Yek? Carol, shout out. Oh, shout out to yo, <laughs> Nikki. Oh, thank you. Love you too. Love you too, Nikki. Koi. Okay, thanks, Koi. Thank you for helping me, Koi. Terrence. <laughs> Freaking Terrence. Oh, you guys. I love it so much. It's hilarious. <laughs> Tagalog people sa marambing when they talk. It's very nice. All right, guys. I'm, I'm going to do this for one more minute, and then I'm going to look. Vale. Maraming maraming salamat po um, para sa inyong supportahan. At sana sa, sa future, pag may event or concert or whatever um, I want you to see it I hope that you show up I'll say hi to you um, yeah I'll be friendly 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 so don't worry. Uh, but if you see me, say hi. And yeah. Um, maraming maraming salamat ulit. At magagandang gobi sa inyong lahat. Sige. So susunod. Next time. Mga kaibigan. Kita kits.